In today's video, I'll be using every single color of the Koopa Clown. So I did a video like this not too long ago about the City Tripper. I figured it'd be fun to go through some of the other combos, their vehicles in Mario Kart Deluxe. We're going to be starting with the, or rather doing the Koopa Clown next, playing on LA Laps 200cc, definitely very unexpected. I am getting grabbed already. Now the Koopa Clown is honestly a very solid vehicle. I feel like a lot of people don't realize how good it is. It's in the same vehicle class as the Tanuki Kart, as well as, I think it's the Master Cycle Zero maybe, I'm not really sure what the other vehicle is. Uh, but it has pretty good handling, the same as the Teddy Buggy, a little bit more speed, less mini turbo. One of the best parts about the Koopa Clown is its insane traction stat. I'm pretty sure it has the highest traction of any vehicle in the game, which is why you see it used in world record builds on snow tracks like Rosalina's Ice World, DK Summit, etc. And honestly, I think that's exactly why it feels so good to use as well, because whenever I've used this vehicle, it feels just really smooth to drive, just feels really good. The handling's insane. And honestly, I'm going to go ahead and say the, you know, handling being pretty good combined with really good traction will do it. And you know, when we have a lightweight character like Lemmy, I am just cruising right now. It feels amazing to use, especially on 200cc like this one is. Now, unfortunately, that player has a double shroom, so they're going to pass me at the very end. But I'll secure a second, so not a bad way to start. And we are back for the next Koopa Clown combo. This time it is Sky Blue, and I believe it is Larry. Is that the Koopaling's name? I'm honestly not really sure. I never really played the Mario games that they were introduced in or returned in. And if you guys haven't noticed by now, I will be using all the Koopalings uh, throughout the video because they are the only characters that actually have different colors for the Koopa Clan. I think I forgot to mention that actually in the first race of the video. Um, which I think is really interesting, you know, there's a lot of vehicles like the City Tripper, like the Pipe Frame, like the Biddy Buggy, where you have color variations depending on the character. Whereas the Koopa Clown, everyone has the same green one, the same one that Bowser has, that a bunch of other, you know, Bowser-type characters have. Uh, but then you have the Koopalings who have different colors, you know, we start off with yellow, we have sky blue, and I really need a comeback. We had a brutal bump at the start, getting bumped off the track after getting hit by something. And I'm going to have to try my best to catch up. This room's not too bad. Uh, I think there's a couple 30k, maybe a 60k rated player. Uh, but definitely a good variety. And that is an amazing pull. I think I will go ahead and use that. Actually, no, I'm going to wait. I was going to chain it. I think I'm going to save it for right here, actually. Then I can chain it into the shortcut. And I can take the ending shortcut as well and cover a ton of ground. And then, thankfully, I pulled mushrooms in the pocket, so I'm going to be caught up pretty much to the front of the pack here. Just got to watch out for this player and their boomerang. And, okay, there. It went backwards. It almost came and hit me. That green shell almost hit them. Okay, it went off the track. And if I can just hold these mushrooms, I'll be in a great spot taking the ending shortcuts. But, again, this boomerang's right here. Got to watch it. We get the piranha plant in the pocket. We almost get lag trailed. We're somehow alive. First is still a little bit in the lead though, so we need to watch out. And we're gonna get Super Horn, of course. They're just gonna spam it right away. Why would they not? And now we're in the pack. I think first might be a little bit too far away. Wait, they all get taken out. And we're gonna be really close, but I think we're gonna be just too far away to first place and another second. And we're back on Koopa Cape, rocking Wendy Koopa. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe I can finally get a first here. Now, I feel like Wendy is definitely the most underutilized Koopaling. I barely see Wendy, like, ever. I literally did a pink tournament uh, last night at the time I'm recording this video, and barely anyone used Wendy Koopa. Uh, but her Koopa Clown build is actually pretty cool, with the pink ring along the top. And Wendy is also not quite, you know, middle, kind of a medium weight character, I suppose. A little bit more weight as we go on here through all the Koopalings and get more speed with it, maybe a little bit harder to control. Maybe that will help me, you know, catch up to the pack, get some wins, since I'm using maybe a more meta build. We're gonna get, unfortunately, starred. We're just getting comboed already once again. And all the way down in 10th. I'll just go for the item boxes there. That's an amazing pull. I'm gonna get clipped by the blue shell, unfortunately. I could not react in time there. There's fire coming backwards. I think I want to hold this until... It's a crazy eight bomb as well. It looks like just out of nowhere, just completely spawned and surprised me. But like I said, I'm gonna hold this. I'm gonna use it coming up here on the shortcut. 
and we can also chain the star and hopefully that will take us into a good spot here the pack is pretty close there is that one shy guy pretty far ahead but we should be in a good spot wow the whole pack is right here we need to watch out there's red shells going off we get a mushroom boost off that player we can't oh we're gonna get randomly chomped by the piranha plant okay let's just go ahead and chain again we actually missed the second box just barely there and we pull a single red shell that is an abysmal pull considering how far ahead that shy guy player is i feel like we should have gotten something a lot better than a single red shell in seventh hopefully we get something good here gonna watch out for the trail we get another single red shell in fifth this time that is terrible yeah that player pulled a star right there wow that is brutal we can go ahead and just throw the red shell watch it for the blue shell there there's a star behind me let's just go wide we're the double. Can we get something good this time? We get the triple reds, triple shrooms. It looks like I trailed someone. I took that player out. They have a piranha plan, of course, and they're going to get us. I've been chomped so many times already, it feels like. This is horrific. But we're somehow in fourth. I'm just going to hold, go inside, not go for the item box here. And there's a late shock. I think I went right through my mushroom. Didn't really help me out much at all. I'm going to watch out for the star here. We can just stick super wide. And I will secure the third, almost getting past on the line, so not too bad. For the next character, we have Ludwig. I think this one might just be my favorite. The dark blue just works so well with Ludwig. Ludwig's also, you know, a very medium white character. I think it's the same stats as Mario. So overall, you know, really solid build, really stylish build, which is really, you know, what we're going for. And actually, I never even noticed, but when you're in a glider like that in a cannon, the Koopa Clown has these little propellers that pop out on either side, and they are also the same color as the color scheme. That is awesome. Even better than I could have hoped for. Go ahead and just get rid of that green. Throw it off the track. Use the mushroom in the shortcut. What am I even saying? I need some coins here. We're only at one right now. Okay, nice. We had another shroom for this shortcut. We're all the way up into second place. Hopefully, I can stay in a top spot this time. I think the last couple of races, I've been getting comboed out. And I've been able to catch up, which is nice, but it does, you know, feel bad to constantly be fighting through the pack like I have been. And I can't really see this player. Ludwig's big head is blocking. Big hair, rather. Okay, they throw the banana down. We're good. Yeah, I need some coins still. We have the shroom. Do I want to go for the ending shortcut? I think that's probably the best play here. I don't know. I'm going to fail and go in the off-road a little bit there. That is awful. Yeah, I feel like I cannot see anything. Let's just go for the double cut here. The double cut. The double box i'll have to go around but i can finally get up to 10 coins that player's gonna pass me i'm my red connected wait what they didn't have any protection really and then they're gonna get sniped but wait that player actually missed the snipe it looks like we can go ahead and hit them with our red shell what is happening that's funny the snipe connected on my screen and on their screen probably the player got hit but then just kept going that's so weird to see that happen you know to someone else in real time not just you and what can we get oh we get the coin in second that is unfortunate and that red shell probably was not coming for me, it looks like, because it just broke on something. Gotta watch out for this green shell coming back. And it looks like it doesn't, actually. What can we get? We need something good. We get the double red shells. Wait, the blue shell is out. Is it going to hit them in time? It is, but they're going to pack me with their green shell. And then we're going to get hit again, but we had iframes. And we're going to get passed by two players on the line. Wow, what a race. And for the next Koopa, we have Iggy Koopa, which shares the same stats as Luigi and has the nice lime green ring here. It's really similar to the regular green one. It is slightly, um, you know, brighter, slightly of a lighter color. But I think out of all of them, this one definitely is maybe the lamest. I don't really know what to say, but it doesn't really look, you know, as unique as the other ones because it is just another shade of green, unfortunately. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, another cool Koopa clown build. And yeah, you can see on the anti-gravity here, the little propellers on the side, like I mentioned last race. Which I don't know how, but I honestly just never noticed beforehand. I think it's pretty cool nonetheless. And once again, we got hit out at the start of the race. I have one coin and we are struggling to get through the pack here. Uh, let's see what we can do. We have the banana. So does this Diddy Kong. I'm going to land on them. And we don't leg trail them somehow. We're going to get bumped because of the draft. And then we're going to get sniped, unfortunately. We can just spam the fire, get rid of it. And hopefully... Okay, that player had a star, I think. I don't know. I just got hit again by something and yeah, we're just getting comboed every single time it feels like let's go for the double hopefully come back this is a track that you can definitely come back on fairly easily it's a, i guess it would be a bagging track i'm not really sure if i want to call it that because i personally never really bagged on this track but because of all the shortcuts i definitely feel like you know it is possible 
And we get another gold, and that's such a great pull. We can go ahead, take the shortcut. I'm going to fail and just barely miss there and miss the glider. And yeah, first and second are like on. We're going to get hit by another green. I'm getting hit by literally every green shell in the map. And then someone's going to steal my box at the last second. So I'm actually going to burn this golden and stay wide here to get the double box, avoid all the bills. Instead of going for the shortcut, I'll just hopefully get a good item set here. And oh no, we get the bullet bill, but it's stuck behind the golden mushroom. I have no coins right now, so this is not very good either. And I think we just want to use it right away, honestly, in case there's like a super late shock here or something. And there is, we get the shock dodge, and we're going to go all the way up into third, I guess. Yeah, we could not pass. Wait, we get past the line by the bill, apparently. We get the fourth. And we're back using Roy Koopa for the next combo. And I will say this is a nice red color. Matches really well with the roller tires. Definitely one of my favorites so far. And after watching back that last race, it looks like I actually did finish ahead of the bill, but the game was lagging so much that it thought I wasn't and actually passed me like after the finish line and hit me, but it still counted that as them being in third apparently. So I guess we took the fourth place. Let's see if I can actually front run. I feel like every single race, last few at least, I've been getting hit out super early and just cannot catch up until the very end to get, you know, a decent spot, but still definitely very frustrating. And of course, as soon as I front run, someone gets a blue shell on the first lap, even though there's been a couple of races with like no blue shells until the very end, which is definitely frustrating. We're gonna get blued. We have built up a bit of a lead at least, which is nice. And do I wanna go for the super bounce with this blooper? Honestly, I'm not going to. I think I'm just gonna drive forward. We do have the nice traction with this combo. And of course, as you guys know, the blooper does have a traction debuff in this game. That makes it harder to drive on top of, you know, being hard to see. I think it's just better to make the safe play there, not risk it. And we are still in first, not by much after the blue shell. We have double protection, which is amazing. So if there are red shells, we will be safe. And I think I'm just going to hold on. Really no point in chaining to go for the super horn like I normally would, because there was just a blue shell. And all right, there is a point now, because I only have one um, item for protection after that boo. So I think I will start chaining a little bit. I think that was a bomb I just saw. Yeah, it looks like it was on the minimap. So now it's just this light blue Yoshi and myself with a bit of a break on the rest of the pack. And of course, there's another blue shell already. So I think I'll just go ahead and... Well, okay, the shock's going to give me the iframes because this combo does have quite a few iframes, it looks like. That's not too bad, but it looks like someone did dodge in the bill, that orange Yoshi, I think. So they are pretty close. Really, anything can happen. You know, there is... Still a little bit of a race left to go. And this end section is always pretty brutal. I'm just going to hold on to my items in case another boo comes. I don't want to get a coin in the back slot. Uh, but since we do have a bit of a break, it's not too bad. But I know this ending section is pretty brutal for, you know, like fire spam, shell spam and everything. It looks like we will be good to get the first. Let's go. And we're back on DK Mountain with Morton Koopa. The black Koopa clown this time. The final color variant before I'll be using... It's the regular Koopa Clown, the green Koopa Clown, with all sorts of different characters to end the video off. And so far, yeah, it's been great. The Koopa Clown's definitely an underrated vehicle. I feel like no one uses it. Uh, definitely a little bit of a meme, though. It does look pretty goofy, which is why I like it so much. And, oh no, I probably should have held that coin. We get the Super Horn already. I was not expecting that, and that was a pretty bad line going flying. Oh, watch out, there's some shells behind me, a green shell, and oh, it gets stolen already. That's why you keep the coin, everybody, in the front slot. So when there is a boo, they steal your coin and not your protection. Wait, where did that green shell even come from? I had to get down here so quickly. We almost get taken out by a rogue green shell way down the track. Uh, but it looks like because of the shortcut there, we got a bit of a lead. I'm trying to snake, but I really shouldn't be. This is a super heavy build, you know, Morden being one of the heaviest characters. Lots of speed. I should really just be focusing on, you know, driving, getting mini turbos where it works, but really not trying to force any mini turbos. Okay, let's finally block the double box there. I blocked it lap one. That should finally block it off, though, with two bananas. Yeah, it looks like someone got hit already. Yeah, we can keep chaining, try to get the super horn back once again or a potential blue shell, and well, another boo. So I was gonna chain there anyways, not really a big deal. And, oh no, there's, the blooper's gonna mess up my traction, and then I went for the double cut, and the blue shell hits me in the air. That is unfortunate. 
timing between the blooper and the blue shell. There's double red shells too. Thankfully, one went by me because I was, you know, falling off the track. And the other one I had protection for. Okay, that red shell's not coming for me. Looks like there's two that maybe third place had for a second. And I mean, I probably could have just went around the shortcut there, but you guys know me. I have to go where the shortcut when it's right there. I'm not going to go around. It feels weird, especially like this shortcut. I feel like I've always gone for the shortcut every single time I play this track so far. I feel like I can't break the streak now. It'd just be weird. So even when there's a blooper and there's a blue shell coming, I'm still going to go for it no matter what. And yeah, we have double protection. We're in a great spot here. As long as there's not another blooper blue shell. It should be good here for the end of the race. We can just break hard, get good alignment. The camera angle makes that really weird, but it's really not that hard, I find. You get used to it. Yeah, that's going to be good for the first place. Let's go. We're back with Bowser this time, and how fitting that we are playing on Bowser's Castle. Some home court advantage. Rocking with the regular green Koopa Clown. The one that you guys are probably used to seeing because pretty much every single character in the game has this one other than the Koopalings, which I just showcased. And I'll be using this for a couple different characters for the remainder of the video here. And unfortunately, we got taken out by a green shell there, but let's see if we can get back up and do a top spot here. Can I get a trick? I cannot. I feel like this is a really weird section. Whenever I go for tricks, I don't get them. And then I sometimes get them by accident when I'm actually going for um, drifts on that section for some reason. And okay, that's a good pull. We get the shroom for the shortcut here. We actually almost get leg trailed by not one, but two of those people there because all of a sudden I was just like really close to them. I didn't think I'd be that close. We're going for the snipe. We missed it. Can we get the boomerang snipe? We're going to miss again. Get the single shroom. That player's going to fail, it looks like. Go off to the side. We're up in the second. I really need some coins though. I am not in a great spot for coins. Let's go wide here. Get the double box and the mushroom. See what we can get. We get the fire flower. Oh, they went the other way. I was going to try to fire flower them there. Like that red shell is going the other way. Again, I didn't even go for the trick there. And I cannot see anything with this giant Bowser combo. Just like that last race, I feel like because of my high speed, I really shouldn't be snaking all too much. I should just be going for, you know, clean driving lines, trying to stay on the track and get the mini turbos when I can. Of course, I'm using the rollers, which have great mini turbo stats. So I shouldn't really be worried about, you know, not getting mini turbos like some of the you know worst builds in the game whenever you use like the steel driver metal tires it's like impossible to actually crank on a mini turbo and it really throws off your driving i think in general you know this combo is definitely a lot better for that and while i almost went off the track i feel like if i had a smaller frame like if i wasn't uh, using bowser i actually would have went off the track there but i was able to stay on the very edge because i am a larger character blue shell oh no i went to stop out but i just was way too far ahead of that player and I'm going to try to get hit on the boost panel, but we are not in a good spot because of that. Ooh, we get the triple mushrooms, triple shells, though. Wait a minute. We might be in a decent spot. Go ahead and shroom all the way up back into second. There's a red shell. It's not going to be enough. We can get back in the second. An unfortunate blue shell. We recovered nicely, so not too bad. And we're back on Ice Ice Outpost, this time rocking Bowser Jr. Koopa Clown. Another Koopa Clown, I feel like, is super fitting for the character. It really was made for Bowser and Bowser Jr. along with the other, you know, characters similar to Bowser, all maybe the sidekicks, the henchmen, whatever you want to call them. We're starting off in the front here. Let's see if we can front run this whole race and never look back. I'm going to already throw and hit the side and then I went to drift and I just fly off the side of the track. Well, not a great start. I get some of these coins. That baby peach was like lagging like crazy. We can somehow get around Get the item. Yeah, the handling actually feels pretty insane on this combo after using Bowser, Morden, and Roy the last few races. Like, I can just, like, take these corners and never mind. Maybe that wasn't worth it because I'm just going to get bumped off the edge as well, unfortunately. Let's go for the bomb snipe. We can pack up that player. And hopefully we can recover. Although, like I said, the handling might have been my downfall there because I actually ended up getting bumped off the track because I went for the shortcut there. We somehow missed that player, but got their green shell with that fire. I'm going to miss the item box, and I will just worry about hopefully not getting bumped too much. I got bumped a little bit, but mainly my line was bad there. And wait, where did that player even come from? I did not see them. He just appeared and took the double, and then we're going to get hit with not one, but two items in a row. 
Yeah, we're just getting back to being comboed like the first few races of the video. The last few I've been able to front run without much resistance. You know, only a blue shell here or there, not too bad. But earlier on in the video, I was just getting hit by literally everything it felt like and could not catch a break. And okay, I need to get my lines a little bit better. We get the boo at least. Can we get another shock dodge? We got one super early on. But it didn't really do much for us. We get the snipe on that Lakitu player. Wow, what a throw. I'm going to go around for the items here. I need something good. We get the star triple shrooms. That is amazing. We can just go ahead and chain those. And hopefully get something good at the next set here. What can we get? We get more shrooms. Which is not bad. And that player, of course, pulls the piranha plant. And just chomps us right away. So yeah, probably not going to be able to get a good placement in this race. Because just keep getting hit by everything, it seems like, yeah, one more time for the road, and we get the sixth. And for the next race, we are rocking with Dry Bones, back to a super lightweight character. Probably my favorite type of character to play with the Koopa Clown, like I was saying in that first race. Especially because 200cc happened to come up, which was just awesome for me, you know, had a great handling build. And got passed at the end, but had a good race overall. And let's go ahead and back that red shell, see what else we can get, and try to, you know, hopefully front run and never look back. I threw at the last race, you know, with the shortcut and everything. Um, but hopefully this one goes maybe a little bit better. We don't get comboed like crazy. And yeah, so far so good. We have the red shell for their, or rather green shell for the red shell. And never mind, I jinxed it. We get booed literally the second before the red shell was about to connect there. That is unfortunate. And then once again, there's another red. I have to burn my super horn already. But yeah, not off to a great start. We're still in first though, so really can't complain all too much. And yeah, this dry bones build feels amazing to use. Lots of handling and mini turbo, which I always really enjoy. And what can we get from this next item box? Okay, to be expected, banana coin. Another red shell. Hopefully they don't have like too many red shells. It's already three in a row. We do have a bit of a break that Diddy Kong has a bit of a break on the rest of the pack as well. And okay, another red shell. Okay, we pulled the two bananas though, which is awesome. Finally, good protection for their red shells. Yeah, we're in a great spot. There could be, you know, a shock still blue shell. Don't want to jinx it, but that is definitely possible. Go ahead and chain, of course, just in case a boo comes. And another red shell. Wow, they've been pulling a red shell literally every single set and launching it forward at me. And there's the shot. Can I get a trick here? I can. That's going to send me flying, though. I'm actually going to go up the top path here. Wait, I think the Metal Mario player dodged because everyone else is pretty far back except for them. Yeah, they are really close to me now. I think, yeah, they're on the bottom path, it looks like. Are we going to have enough speed to win the race? We are. There's a red shell. It didn't really matter. We had the banana, and we get the first. And we're back on Ninja Hideaway this time, rocking with Dry Bowser. Another super heavy, super fast build that I just cannot see anything. It's always so funny to me when you have a big build like this build or PD Piranha and the hitbox is so large you can't really tell what's going on in front of you. Definitely a big negative of it. And oh no, I was going for the shroomless cut, but someone's actually going to hit me with the red shell in the air. And it looks like no one else went for it though. So we can, you know, catch up a little bit quicker than I normally would have, all the way up into 5th already. Maybe I'll try to hold this shroom until the shortcut next lap. We need some coins and to try to catch up. Okay, gotta watch out for the red shell. There's a super horn. Wait, that red shell just went through the Donkey Kong player, went by them, and then they're gonna super horn me off the edge, of course. I was waiting for them to use that for so long, and they finally used it just to hit me off the edge. Um, and I think, yeah, it looks like they're up ahead a little bit. Those are some green shells. Gotta watch out for the bounce here. Looks like we're safe. We get the fire flower. Actually, I can just use this uh, green shell to open up the prana plant cutout because you can just simply throw it at the cutout. I thought that player might have. It looks like they're not going to. Just like that. I think this player is going to pass. We can go ahead and fire them. We are in a pretty good spot, I think, overall. There's the DK player. Can we fire them too? It looks like we can. And they're gonna hit me back with their fire. I should have held on in my shroom there. And they're gonna lag trail me. I, I figured this combo would have more iframes, but I guess it has pretty much none because I just got comboed over and over. This is another miserable race all the way down into 10th place. Okay, we need something good. That is an amazing pull, just what I needed. Double invincibility and we steal the triple shrooms. That is incredible. Let's just keep going here. It looks like the blue shell just went out. Let's chain at the set, see what else we can get. Maybe some protection. We get another boo. That is amazing. So I can use this boo right after the shortcut. Use the shroom to go through it. 
And then, oh no, I was spamming it, but I didn't use it in time. I hesitated and I didn't get it. We could have had the instant shock dodge there. Unfortunately, I just had to use the mushroom. I was going to wait a second. We are so close. Wait, I can just throw this red shell. That player probably doesn't have an item ahead of me because of the shock. And it looks like they, I'm not sure. They were like up on the top and they, they just like lagged and went down below. But it looks like they will keep the first and we're going to get the second place, which isn't too bad, but that shock dodge would have been nice. And we're back on Rainbow Road for the next race, rocking with King Boo this time. Another awesome Koopa Clown build, you know, the color scheme, I think works really well between King Boo and the Koopa Clown. And I still really wish I would have gotten that shock dodge last race, unfortunately, I was so close to using it. And I feel like it's been a while since I've gotten a shock dodge that actually, you know, made a difference in one of these videos. I feel like I get a lot of shock dodges like really late in the race where it literally doesn't matter like on that Mario Circuit race earlier where I got it in the build to pass like one person. I didn't really, you know, have a big outcome on the or effect on the outcome of the race rather. Uh, so hopefully, you know, maybe we can get one of the next couple of races. Maybe not. I think there definitely is a lot less shock since Wave 6. Now, that's probably a big factor, you know, in the fact that I get a lot less shock dodges now because, you know, bagging tracks aren't as effective. People can't pull power items more than once on a single set. And in general, just there's just less shocks, I feel like. But let's see if we can keep our lead. We have a pretty massive lead already considering it's only been one lap. We're at 10 coins. We can chain up the next set. Yeah, things are looking good. And never mind, I literally said things are looking good. Into a shock, into a blue shell. I really can't make this up, guys. I feel like that happens far too often in these videos where I just completely jinx myself. It's not funny anymore. I really wish it would stop. But here we are anyways. I don't know. I'm going to miss the box. That's the only reason I chained my coin there. That is unfortunate. And do I drop this bomb now? Do I wait? You know, I'm going to drop it right after the cam. I feel like that's a really mean spot to do it because they really can't do much about it. And yeah, I'm going to get that Lakitu player in second, it looks like. And what can we get from this set? Okay, another pretty average pull. No horn. And unfortunately, I really wish this was a double box, but I guess it is pretty close to the end of the track, so that makes sense why they wouldn't make it a double. It's always frustrating because I can't really chain it as easily in first place, I guess, because there's two, you know, single boxes in a row. Don't want to risk it. There's like a million green shells coming down the hill. And all right, another blue shell just like that. We're getting a hit on the boost panel. Now I'm going to go just buy it, it looks like, unfortunately. And then there's another shock, but wait, we get the iframe. That's actually not too bad. The high frame shock dodge that time. It's funny how they both happened, you know, back to back like that. On lap one it happened, lap two it happened, and that player got greedy with the red shell. And I'm going to go ahead and bomb them. And oh no, wait, they pulled triple reds. I thought I could block it on that banana, but I guess not. Or maybe the Lakitu player behind them also had red shells. I'm not sure what just happened. But either way, that peach player is nowhere to be seen. We're still in first for the time being, of course, second could just pull like a hundred red shells here and that could be it for me. We have the coin in the back, so I can go ahead and chain that at the set. We get the banana. Is there going to be any more red shells? It looks like there's not. We got lucky at the end. A bunch of red shells, but not enough to take me out and we get the first. And another shock. Wow, three shocks. And we have one final race on none other than Cheese Land. I feel like this track always used to come up in my videos. But since the bagging changes, it feels like it just doesn't come up. At least it's just not the same, you know, as... Well, you can't really bag as much. It looks like there is one Diddy Kong player bagging pretty hard. You know, wait, I think they're just AFK, actually. Yeah, they're not even moving at all. They're probably just going to get disconnected here. Uh, and as always, you know, on these bagging tracks, I'm going to go for the front run because I happen to be in the front at the start of the race. But if I happen to get hit out, I'll just go ahead and bag. And maybe I'm trying to get hit out, throwing my green shell there, getting rid of it. And wait, what was that? We got bumped off the track, off the double box because of the spin boost. <laughs> it happens again. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to bag. Definitely was not on purpose, but get bumped like crazy either way. All the way down to 10th, just like that. Yeah, that player is still sitting there. How have they not gotten disconnected yet? That's kind of crazy. And I forgot for a second that I can't just, you know, sit on the box forever. I can go ahead and use the shroom in the shortcut. And maybe I want to save this shroom. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I think I will because I feel like I won't get a good item from this next set because I am pretty close to the front already. Now I'm in sixth place. 
Burst is literally right there in that corner in front of me. Yeah, we can just hold and make our move later. If there's a shock, we can still bag a little bit, get, get another good box, rather. Yeah, I'm not really worried about it. And we're going to bump again off my line. Why does that keep happening? The spin boosting is driving me crazy. Right, we're going to get passed by a couple players. There's a bomb. I think we're okay for now. That's a banana. That's another player getting taken out. We can go all the way up into third with our star here. Am I being too greedy? Do I want to chain that like the boo in that ninja hideaway race? And wow, we go inside of the bomb. I was about to activate my star. And it looks like I'll have to activate it anyways because of that red shell. And wait, that Lakitu player just completely lagged there. And the red shell didn't know where to go. And what is going to happen here? We have the bomb. I'll just drop it. We can back the red shell. We're going to miss, but it doesn't matter. And we somehow get the first. What a crazy race. What a great way to end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.